Hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar and what I am going to do in this video, I am going to solve some ordinary differential equation question. OD, you know, OD is very very important in all exams, including TFR. Trust me, including TFR, I, in fact in ITGEN it has great abilities and in NET, I mean, if you will, something you should try, suppose if your pure mathematics is not good, then you can score something in OD or some applied section, might be you will get GRF or NET. But I always personally recommend to students you should have some background in pure mathematics. That's very important. But leave that. That is not important. But having said that, this question, this will deals with the application. I mean, somehow this question will also fill up the gaps between the pure mathematics and applied mathematics. So this question will tell you how you can do the OD questions with easy way and some smoothness way. And this very popular question asked in, I think in NHM, I don't know, I, I came to know about this question because some of the students asked in the class and I thought I should do this question because it's, I thought this very important, right? So let's understand the question first and see how one should approach this kind of problem, right? So let's go. So question is, f is a magnitude from r to r, which is a differential function with the value at 0 is equal to 1 and satisfying the equation f of x plus y equal to fx plus f prime y plus f prime x times f y for x y plus r then the value of log e f4 then the value of this is 1 2 3 4 okay so this is like a functional equation right functional equation might be we have seen while doing olympiads maths to problem or something like that there we encounter such kind of things and in fact in real analysis also we should encounter this kind of problem and also if you look at the TFR question pattern, they also used to ask this kind of questions, right? So these are like updated questions in our trends and one should be very comfortable in this kind of problem that how one should approach this kind of problems, right? So let's see how one should do this kind of problems. That's important. So let me solve this. So first of all, how one should, so how we should not be scary with, with this kind of functional equation. So that's the ultimate goal of the thing. How do you do this kind of problems, right? So what is given? So your uh, given uh, statement is that you know, that's nothing. It's a simple functional equation. I have to write in proper form, and that's nothing but f x f prime y plus f prime x, and then f of y, and this holds for all x y belongs to the real So this is this, and one more thing I have given me. F0 is equal to 1. I am going to use that. So with help of this, let me put, because this is true for all xy, let's put xy equal to 0. So put xy equal to 0 in 1. So what we will have? So we will have f0 is equal to f of 0, f prime 0 plus f prime 0, f of 0, right? And of course f0 is 1. So what we got is 2 times f prime 0 is equal to 1. So f prime 0 is equal to 1 by 2. So that's what the condition we got. So f prime 0, one more thing we got is f prime is f prime 0 is equal to half. So let me write everything here. So what we have discovered so far is so this is given f0 equal to 1 f prime 0 equal to half and uh, f of x plus y is equal to f of x f prime y plus f prime x and f of y. Okay? Now, let's put y equal to 0. Okay? Now, put y equal to 0. And let's try to solve this. So, this is a simple functional equation, right? If you look at this, you will not find out, you, you are not able to figure out is it a differential equation question or a simple real analysis question, right? This is the thing counterpart, you know, what is the karna kya hai isme? That is important. Question banana nahi hai, look at the question, bol kya hai, what is, they want to ask and how one should do this kind of problem, that is important, right? So, ye real the question hai, ye ODI ka question hai, how one can judge that? Still, it's not important, doesn't matter kisi bhi kabhi question ho bhaiya, tumhe question ho, I'll take you as a problem. And my job is to solve you with correct intention, right? So put x equal to 0. So uh, y equal to 0, if I put fx equal to 
nothing but fx f prime 0 f prime 0 is this plus uh, f prime uh, x as it is and what is f of y0 is equal to 1 so here I will get again f prime x is nothing but fx by 2 right hand so this is now differential equation quotient if you put so this is what so this is like dy by dx equal to uh, fx by uh, y by 2 right here so this is f prime x mm, minus fx by 2 is equal to 0 so what is the integrating factor integrating factor is nothing but e to the power minus 1 by 2 uh, dx that's nothing but e minus 1 by 2 x e to the power 1 by 2x so let me raise the other thing so integrating factor i got e to the power minus 1 by 2 the solution is therefore the solution is so what is the solution so solution is what is the solution solution we will get uh, your uh, fx into integrating factor 1 by 2x and some integration constant correct huh? so that's the solution so let me write everything here okay so what i got the solution is therefore it is your fx into the power minus 1 by 2x is equal to constant. So let's call it 2. Let's call it 2. So now put x equal to 0 to figure out c. So now we got the function. So now put c equal to c. So now put x equal to 0. If I put x equal to 0, why will I put x equal to 0? Because this is the initial condition they have So put x equal to 0. What is that? f of 0 is equal to c. That means c is equal to 1. So my function is fx equal to e to the power x by 2. Correct? Huh? So fx equal to x by 2. What they are asking? They are asking about f of 4. e to the power 4 by 2. That's something but e to the power 2. Now they are asking about log of f4. And that's nothing but 2. Correct? Huh? So that means nothing but the answer is 2. So see, it looks scary. It looks scary. First time if you will see, it's a really horrible problem. That man, how one should deal, build this kind of problem. I know most of the student, I mean among 100 students, I think 70% will leave this question. By looking this question, by looking the functional equation. But they forget that something we have to apply. Something uh, in some proper way, some nice way, I have to put in some simplest form. How I will put? By our previous experience, by our previous knowledge and all that. So that's what I'm saying. Your basics should be very important. Basic, you know, fundamental. It's very, very important. All institutes needs fundamentals. They can teach you higher level, but basic you have to carry. That's your responsibility that you should learn. But having said that, if you feel difficulty on that, I'm always there to guide you. Whatever possible from my side, I'll do that. Okay? So it's not tension level. Okay? But still, I, again I will say, how I have taken everything, how you have manipulated something, you got the result. My view will do, you will not get the answer. It happens. But don't lose your passion to do mathematics, even if you are not able to solve the problem. Don't lose that hope. One day you will be able to do it. Okay? So don't worry about that. How I can do that, I will tell you later, simultaneously. And still, so that's the way to do this kind of work. I will upload more problems on it so that you will be more comfortable on this that and uh, that's what I am saying <laughs> still if you feel that your basic is not good still you have a chance still it's not too late you can still join okay and uh, we are going to start the crash course uh, uh, the, for the CSR net and DFR that uh, from I think 16th September I should call to the office number number is already mentioned in this uh, link you can check that and you can call and figure out when the course is going to open the crash course for tfr as well as csr net ticket okay? uh, this is i think 16 september so it's not too late and still you can join and you should enjoy mathematics okay so thank you for watching my videos it really means a lot to me thank